problem. Need power. Oh, so many to choose from. I'll do this one. Why do I plug it in at? Dang it. Look it up. Oh no. What did I do? Well, it may be about you, but I mean. I'm doing stuff. I do intro stuff too. In fact, I would say I do better intro stuff. <laughs> we'll see about that. What's wrong there, short arms, McGee? Can't reach it. What? What'd you say? What? What? What'd you say? Can't hear ya. Whatever. What? It should start now since it's been. I mean, it was trying to start. Let's try it. Let's do video, buddy. Look at that beautiful screen. Well, you, gotta the, you gotta put the ground actually on something that's grounded. It is grounded. Now try it. Okay. I think that's a no for a minute. Maybe that one right there. Oh, there's an endless plant. I'll tell us. Look at that. From the factory all the way to here. Different. So when we originally saw this, it was obviously unfolded. So you couldn't exactly see what it looked like when it was folded up. But this is what it looks like completely folded up. But what I did notice when it was unfolded is this. Looks like that's how you uh, raise and lower it. Different because the old planter, it would raise up using that. And I think that is just for raising it all the way up and swiveling. And then I think, are there tires on this side? Okay. Oh, they're fully retracted. Of course, doesn't have that. Hmm. Lot to learn about this thing. Lot to learn. A lot cleaner looking too. Let's see, two reds, two blues, two blacks. So is the orange a drainage? No, no, this is. Oh, that's the drain. What's that? What's that one? Land loader case drain. So that would plug. Looks like there's a four case drain. 
hydraulic oil cooler. Circulates through there, fan pushes there or pulls there, whichever it wants to. There's the bad of it. Just circulates throughout the entire system. Okay. He's taking off. Consensus is... We have no idea. He's supposed to have a box of stuff, a bunch of cameras, owner's manual, just a bunch of stuff. None of it is here. The guy that was helping us hook it up left. I don't know why, but put a bunch of boxes in his car and then took off. Pull up here and take a look inside and see if we can find anything. Ugh. All right. Might have turned that off going in here. True. They sell stuff. One eternity later. We got the box of stuff. We got the manual. So we're gonna take it back home. Maybe try to plug some other stuff in just to get it working. Like just to make it, you know, unfold, raise up and down, all the fun stuff. This is not quite the day we were hoping to make it out to be. It's kind of hoping a little bit better, but we'll figure it out. Let's run to the bank. I gotta check. I need the cash. I don't know why the service manager wouldn't tell the employee, hey, there's a guy that's coming. Yeah. It's gonna be here. Can you show him? <laughs> why? Why wouldn't you tell your employee, don't leave early today? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, cash said I need to shoot, shoot some videos while we're playing because uh, I, we kind of left a cliffhanger off on the setup of the planner, but the planner was really easy to set up. Now, what I'm gonna do is kind of show you some of the things. I'm sure there's this kind of stuff has been out there for a long time, but it's all new to me because my planner was 20 years old and now I've got a brand spanking new one. So there she is doing the work. Now next year it'll have, whoops. Next year it'll have uh, liquid fertilizer on it. Uh, we're gonna do starter fertilizer. This year we didn't have time to get it on there because we got the planner kind of late. What I am gonna point your, direct your attention to though is this little handy dandy screen over here. So my old planner, it would have something that looked like this up top and that was about it. That was actually it, wouldn't do anything else. But with this one, so my population changes because we're doing variable rate planting. So uh, you'll be able to see that the different colors change. And as it approaches different colors, it'll change the population when it gets into that color. And that's because of oil type, yield potential, moisture, all that kind of stuff changes how the rate changes. But I can go in here and I can change population. I can watch singulation. I can watch the hybrid. I've only got one hybrid in there right now, but we can change things like ground contact. So this tells me how good the thing is, uh, is planting. Where it's red over there now, it's because I'm going through some ground that's worked. So it's gonna push some, put some negative pressure, negative down pressure on there. Then there's applied force. This is what it's actually pushing down into the ground. And then this is what it senses at the back at the gauge mill. So what the gauge mills are sensing is about 158, 159 pounds of applied force or actual down pressure on the sensor. That doesn't mean that's all the down pressure it's putting down. That's just what the sensor is sensing. I don't remember what the calculation is to figure out exactly how much it is at the back wheel. I gotta turn around. Okay, so the turn is complete. We're going back the other direction. As you can see, this is no-till ground. We don't till any of it. We And we play it green. There are gonna be people that go, ugh, that's disgusting. You should have worked worked ground. It should be uh, powder. We don't do that. We uh, we plant green. Uh, in fact, if we if we were to kill this before we planted it, if this stuff turns brown and starts, even if it just starts to die before we plant, then it becomes a mess with the planter. I don't remember what you call it, but it like like goes like that, crimps it, it crimps it into the seed trench and it won't give the uh, seed good seed to soil contact. So we plant green, because green actually cuts way better and you can get right through it really, really nice and easy. And this is rye grass and this is some wheat. So back to the planter screen. Markers, I don't use markers because I use GPS, but you can change this to automatic. So every time you push the control to raise or lower, once you've done a full uh, rotation, like if it's in the ground on the right side, and you raise it up, you raise the marker up, it will automatically switch to the left side. So you don't have to push a button, it just does it on its own. It's pretty sweet if you use markers. Um, the actions, over there. So folding and unfolding the planter is really cool. I'll show you how all that works when we do it. We've got lights on there now. We've even got cameras. There's a camera. Now that camera is the one that's for the back when we're traveling down the road. So it's actually, 
no, it's on the other side. It's way over there on that end down there. You can't see it very well. Oh, you can't see it at all. But it's down there. So it, right now it's looking uh, it's looking over there. They're magnet, so you can put them basically anywhere you want all over the planter. But then we go to health. All those upper ones are blue because they're all up. We're not planting beans, we're planting corn. Everything looks like it's green, so it's all working well. I have the scales highlighted because I need to know how many acres I have until I'm empty. So I can plant for another hour and a half, probably maybe close to two hours before I'm out of seed. Not sure why it keeps walking back and forth. So, before I turn the camera around, uh, on my old planter, my 3600, what I had to do is every time I wanted to change population, I had to first get my book, find the page that had the population, sprocket, configuration on it. Then I'd have to go out to the left side of the planter, change the sprockets, two sprockets normally, and the chain to get the population I wanted on that side. Then I have to go to the other side of the planter and do the same thing on the other side. So when I wanted 26,000 or whatever, I would have to go out and change two sets of sprockets. It took anywhere from, depending on um, depending on where the stuff was, the, the sprockets were in the stack. I may have to take the whole stack apart, or I may only have to take one, one stack. It, and it, so it took minimum, if I was like running, five minutes. If I was leisurely strolling, it would take 10 because I'm slow and I walk slow. You can ask anyone in my family when uh, we go for a walk, everybody gets upset because I walk too slow. There's the planter. She is doing her job. Awesome, Pete. Awesome. Awesome piece of technology. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how we switch populations. All right, so here we are coming to the end. So I'm gonna slow down on the end here. This changes my ground to contact. It makes my planter squeal. So I start my turn, I hit my population, hit the pencil. I wanna go down to 24,000, boom, boom. There I am down to 24, hit my check mark. And I'm ready to plant. Stick it in the ground. And away we go. All right, so here we are again. Now, what we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you that's really cool, that's different than our old machine, is our old machine had the monitor called a KPM2. Uh, this new one, this is just called Blue Vantage. And everything is contained in here, whereas the other one I had a little black box that had switches on it you had to control. This one is different. So we can go to the action screen. It's really dummy proof if you just follow the directions, like it has unfold and it has fold. We are going to fold because we're finished with this field. Now the only thing that's a little different that I, well, I don't necessarily like, but it's part of it. You have to do the hydraulics and this at the same time. So I can technically do it with one hand, but I go here and then I push extend tongue and it starts to walk backwards. Now, one thing that's different about this planter than the other planter, I'm gonna go ahead now and engage the wing locks. They're out there on the sides. Oh, we can't see where you And then I'm gonna raise the toolbar. Now, one difference between this one and my old 3600 is going up and down in the field, it went on the tower, as they call it. Well, with the new planter, that doesn't happen. All the up and down is done in field mode by the wheels. The reason that's important is when you're folding up the planter, it's very important that you have it down. I'm ready to rotate the bar, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I have to actually put the planter down. See how it's rocking down? And if you don't do that, when you rotate the bar, there's my big fat finger, when you rotate the bar, it would be above that hook, so it wouldn't latch. So now I'm gonna rotate the bar, and it will latch. I didn't know that until Mark came out from uh, Miller Equipment, very, very uh, wonderful customer service out there. They helped out a lot. It's funny though, when he came out, there really wasn't a lot for him to do. Just a few things to walk me through some stuff that I'd never dealt with on a planter like this before but as far as going to plant there wasn't a whole lot he could do because these things are so intuitive and ready to go from the factory so that was awesome uh, so now we are in ready to go mode there is a cylinder lockup um, and normally 99% of the time I would put that in but I'm completely empty so I'm not too concerned about the weight and uh, I'm not gonna push any silly buttons to make it go down, so. Here we go, we're done, we're done in this field. Did 133 acres. There's cash. Saying how do. 